Assalamu alaikum this is Huzaifa Saleh yesterday i got a comment on this video a person named Frankie D'Souza having trouble to understand what to do when i say take moment so he asked how to take moment i tried to make him clear but i couldn't he asked me to make a video on it so here is the video on demand specially for Frankie the other viewers must not confuse with this moment the moment we are talking about is a physics term. So what is moment when a force is being applied on an object at a perpendicular distance from its pivot point then the body will rotate or try to rotate with a factor which is equal to the product of force and the perpendicular distance like in this case of cantilever beam. When the force is applied on the free end now it is not a simple force rather due to its perpendicular distance between the line of force it has become moment. In simple lever, we use the same rule to lift the heavy objects. When force is multiplied with the perpendicular length, it becomes more bigger factor than a simple force to lift objects. For example, in this figure, we have two masses, M1 is greater than M2, and both masses are balanced over a single pivot point. How they are balanced? Actually, M1 is at a distance of 1 meter from the pivot point. So the moment it is producing is, 20 into 1 which is 20 newton meter on the other hand 20 newton moment is produced with a less mass by increasing its distance from the pivot point in cantilever beam when f force is applied on the beam at a distance from the fixed point the beam must rotate but it is still because it is fixed at this point we apply a force on the beam but it is still stationary so we must investigate what does this fixed sport do. Actually it produces same amount of moment but in opposite direction. Which actually cancel out the externally applied moment. So beam remains stationary. Let's talk about the problem in which Frankie faced a problem. From the figure we are taking moment about O1 point. Actually O1 and O2 are pivot point in the double block shoe break for right hand shoe and left hand shoe respectively. For moment O1, you have to see all the forces on the right hand side arrangement which are at the distance from O1. First S force, which has distance 250 plus 200 units. It will generate anti-clockwise moment. In equation, clockwise moment will be written on one side and counterclockwise moment will be written on the other side. Next force is Rn, which have distance from O1 200 units. It will generate clockwise moment. Next and the last is FT1 force into its perpendicular distance from O1. Its distance will not measure from here, it would be from here, as we have to measure it between O1 and force. So this distance would be radius of the circle minus distance between the center of the wheel to O1. It will generate clockwise moment. The equation tells us that clockwise moment are equal to the counterclockwise. That's why whole arrangement is stationary. Now for the left hand shoe. Taking moment about O2. First S force into its perpendicular distance from O2. It will produce clockwise moment. Next is FT2 force into its perpendicular distance from O2. This is also clockwise moment. Now the third and the last force which is reaction force Rn in the response of shoe's force on the wheel. Rn into perpendicular distance from O2. It will generate counterclockwise moment. I hope it would be helpful for Frankie and for the others as well. See you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.